The BF Weevil Custom, at the price of $652,000 undiscounted, and then the conversion cost just shy of a million dollars, you can get your hands on one of the most interesting looking muscle cars in the game. But why am I looking at a vehicle you may be asking? You stopped doing car reviews ages ago! Well to that I say, this car actually has something worth talking about unlike most other cars, so sit down and shut up and I'll maybe show you something this car is going for it, eh? Anyways, upon conversion, the car changes from a compact class to a muscle class. A pretty common thing for cars to undergo when they change in this way, such as the Sultan becoming the Sultan RS, turning from a sports car into a superclass car. Anyways, upgrade options aren't too much out of the ordinary besides a few questionable cosmetic changes, which I think would make the car extremely uncomfortable to drive in real life, if not for the goddamn gear and chain wheels which would probably cut up your hands not after long, you also have a friggin pointy ass gear stick which will puncture your hand every time you change gear, and diner seats for those who crave a broken back after accelerating at high speeds too much. Anyways, fully upgraded and tuned, I take it to the airport, and after getting rid of this annoying ghost car, I compare its basic performance against the likes of the v the v the v the, v the vagina, and do a drag run. Hey, not bad, pretty similar in performance I must say. Though that should be expected considering the price you paid for the Weevil. And handling isn't bad either, it feels stable, it's not gonna, it doesn't feel like it's gonna topple over like it would if it were just an ordinary Weevil. Its grip levels are decent as well. It's overall pretty good. But the thing that made me want to make a video on this car in the first place was this. A speed glitch which allows you to go a little bit higher top speed than normal driving. On top of that, the handling becomes very slippery, making it a fun car to speed drift avoiding traffic while on the freeway. The top speed that you gain from the glitch isn't enormous, it's not like the RE7B when that had a glitch, but it's definitely a noticeable change in top speed over driving normally. So here's how to do it. When driving at low speed, just hold down accelerate and brake at the same time. If the car is driving at the correct speed, you should be doing a rolling burnout. If not, you're probably going a bit too far, so just tap the handbrake while still holding both triggers to slow the car down until it works. Once the wheels start drawing tyre marks on the road and you're still moving, you got it baby! Just hold on and try and keep it steady for as long as you want that glorious speed. So that's the BF Weevil Custom for you. A more interesting car than the rest, hence why I felt like making a ye olde classic car review like I did in the good old days when you were actually interested in them. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!